Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video, we're going to look at how you can overwrite the default locomotion for units. Locomotion means how units are moved. So there are uh, three uh, default options. If your unit has a character controller attached, that will be used. If it has a rigid body, that will be used. If it has neither, um, it will simply be moved by uh, using the transform directly. So if you want to overwrite this, for instance, if you have animations that you want to use to move your units, then you will need to overwrite the default behavior. So to see how to do that, I'm going to switch into script here. So as you can see, I've created a default mono behavior and I will now implement this interface called iMoveUnits, which is what you need to implement uh, in order to overwrite locomotion. So as you can see, it has two methods. It has the move method, where you implement the logic for moving the unit, and it has a stop method, where you would implement stopping the unit. So if you were to do this uh, for um, animations, you would probably enter idle state when stop is called. And obviously for move, you would need to manipulate um, the state machine to respond to the velocity. Now for this example, I'm not going to do an animation uh, steering, I'm simply going to duplicate the default um, which is to manipulate the transform directly so I'm just going to do like this So reposition the transform by the velocity times delta time Oops, and that's it and then to show that we're actually doing something here I'm just going to say like this. Okay. So that's it. We have a custom locomotion script back in Unity. I'm just going to attach that. Oh, I actually already did attach it there to my unit. Um, so when I start my scene and I start moving my unit around, as you can see, it will write that to the console. Let's spam it actually. So there you go, that's how you overwrite locomotion.